Legends, welcome back to another episode in the series. So, the car I'm testing today is a 1992 Alfa Romeo 155Q4. Quite a rare vehicle. Um, I think I unlocked it in one of the races. Um, yeah, so uh, there was a season seasonal race um, a few months back and then I I jumped on it immediately because I had to. So this car is a like a touring car legend, and there's some yeah, just Google like YouTube videos on the real real deal. It's quite spectacular. Um, and if you played Gran Turismo like I did as a kid, yeah, this is like very similar. But yeah, so this is the stock car of the touring car. Um, uh, but I put the. I actually found like a, a a painting decal that someone else made and just kept it on there because it just yeah, it reminds me of the touring car. So, all-wheel drive, C-Class 541. Um, let's see what it can do in our tests. It's very very square shaped, um, but it has a wedge in the front. It looks. It's. I don't think it's very pretty. Um, from the front, I think the the rear end of the car and the sides they look better. But yeah, it's very boxy. But it's typical of the 90s, you know. Um, yeah, let's see what it does. Lovely. You can now understand why it's a legend. It's still unbeatable drivers, but it just yo takes off it sounds great too and because of the all-wheel drive I think it will do pretty well on the dirt feels really good, like it's quite well balanced, even for such an old vehicle. Sure, it's not as fast as the 8C and, you know, the 4C and a bunch of other cars, but it's a really good starting block. For if you want to build like a rally legend or a touring car or something like that. As you can see, it's actually quite nice. It's a little bit lazy in the steering if you apply power, but it's actually not bad at all. It's really, really nice. All right. It feels actually a little bit more stiff on the tarmac than on the, the dirt. Maybe it's just because of the tires, I'm not sure. Here's the interior. 90s, you know. <laughs> Minimalistic. But neat. Lots of visibility. It's, it's actually fantastic. Can't see the side view mirror that well, but maybe that's a good thing if you watch the video with the the blue Acura RSX Type S. <laughs> oh boy. Hey. It's great, yeah, on dirt it's actually very good. Ooh. As you can see it also even revs up quite high. You can take it up taken up all the way to almost eight thousand RPM before the limiter kicks in. Oopsie.
So for a Class C vehicle, this is great. Very good. If you can find one, go for it. 321.4. Um, yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time for sure. Right, let's see what it does on cross country. Very curious to see what happens. <laughs> One Yeah. What are your thoughts on this car? Comment below. I wanna hear it. Well, I want to read it at least. <laughs> okay. Very nice. It actually has good traction. Oops. On this. Uh, Type of terrain. I think it's because it's actually a little bit, you know, higher up. Oh, oh. Just always be careful for that re entry because it has grip on the tarmac as well. Even with the stock tires, it's actually astounding. But you have to let off on the power just to make the turn a little bit better. You can't just keep it full. Gear back here. underpowered I would say but very well balanced actually I mean it's such a classic shape you know the 90s you know for a male 155 just, just too cool Yeah, when you see that re-entry, it, it does something strange there. But not bad, I mean, you're, for a stock vehicle, it handles the whole terrain quite well. space to squeeze past. I should have gone left. Oh well. But there you have it. 336.1. For a Class C vehicle, eh? That's very, very impressive.
Alrighty. Let me just skip through. Man, I'm getting hats, eh? Alrighty. Let's see what it does on the drag strip. I think this is also going to be interesting. I, I expect it not to be as quick, but who knows? It has a very good um, launch um, acceleration, so yeah, curious to see. And here we go. Great launch, eh? Here we go. No wheel spin, nothing. I think it's just because it's underpowered, but the perks of Class C, all-wheel drive vehicles. <laughs> and it's got some half-decent tires on it, you know. I think it's actually very good tires. But it's probably Michelin tires. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we get here. Just trying to drive it as smooth as possible. Pretty impressive, I must say. If you think about it, like the 8C has got a top speed of about 299 kilometers per hour. It hit like 300 for a moment, the Forza edition. And this one, like, what, topped out at 218. That's not bad. For a Class C versus a Class S. One. E. Anyway, but yeah. So, one minute, 20 seconds. It does show, though. Like, I mean, the 8C Forza edition did one minute and what two seconds or something like that one minute one second can't remember anyway very interesting so will it drift I don't think so <laughs> I don't think it has enough power to initiate a drift let's have a look nope <laughs> doesn't even uh, but that's okay as you can see, it just struggles for, for power. Let's have a look. Wow, okay, you see, so if you use the handbrake a little bit, it just doesn't have enough power to sort of keep the drift. Do you see? So, try it again. Just want to get... Yeah, there we go. But that was with the handbrake, and then, ah, it just struggles for grip, and then boom, it kicks in again, so... Yeah, not exactly set up for drifts, I would say. But if you're in a pinch and you quickly need to change direction, then you can just use the handbrake for it. So, there you go. Alrighty, guys. Hope this was entertaining and insightful. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe if you think it was a vibe. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.